Welcome back to Brick Artemis, everybody. If it is your first time, then welcome to Brick Artemis. Today is a very special video because I'm doing something crazy, okay? Now, I'm doing something that not a lot of people will do, and I, I feel like some people might even be like, well, how is he doing this since he wasn't a collector back in 2005? Well, I'm here to tell you that if you've been a collector since 2005 or 2011, then please, I challenge you to Here you go, Sammy boy. do this video because it is a lot of fun. And again, this is for fun. I started collecting a couple years ago, but thought it would be fun to kind of go back in time to when Hot Toys started and talk about their announcements since 2005 and go from 2005 all the way to today, 2024, and kind of talk about the best announcements each year. Now, I'm not gonna go through every announcement. I'm just gonna talk about what my favorite one, what I think is the best one, which figure turned out the best, the, mo the, the most hyped. It, it just varies depending on the year. So this is not the year they were released, but the year that they were announced. So guys, buckle up. Let's have some fun. Let's talk about some hot toys, some history and uh, get this show on the road. All right, guys, so a little rules here. So what I'm gonna do is kind of go through each year since 2005 all the way to today, okay? And I'm going to talk a little bit about some figures that may have been announced as well, or like the first time an Iron Man figure was announced was this year, that kind of thing. Maybe talk about some other figures that were announced, let's say in 2021 or something like that. But what I feel was the best figure uh, of that year, uh, I will say the number one. So I'm not gonna go through every single figure. But I will talk about a, a some highlighted ones like this, like these six figures were announced this year. But I'm going to go with this one again, guys. I challenge you to do a video like this uh, if, if you know or, or comment down below uh, what you feel um, are the best figures that were announced each year. So or at least maybe the last five years. So go ahead, comment down below, hit that like button, subscribe before we get started. And let's go ahead and do this. So you might be wondering, well, where in the heck did he get this knowledge if he wasn't around during that time? How does he know all of the announcements throughout the last 20 plus years? Well, I didn't. So <laughs> I went on a website called hottoysph.com. It's Hot Toys Checklist. There, if you just look up basically Hot Toys All Releases, it's like the first thing that pops up on Google. How accurate this is, I don't know, but this is what I'm going off of. So if it's wrong, kind of blame them, okay? I'm going off of this list, blame them, but uh, they have a lot of information uh, on all the different Hot Toys figures, quarter scale figures, uh, like almost like busts that I had no idea that Hot Toys did back in the day. And I'm sure some of you do, which is awesome. But um, yeah, so, but I'm only going to do the one sixth figures. So you're not going to see any quarter scale figures. I may talk about like, hey, this was the year that the first quarter scale figure that Hot Toys did was announced, but I'm not going to have that be able to be number one for that year. If you guys want to check out the whole the whole website, it, it, I have the uh, link down below in the description. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, back in 2005, we had about 10 releases. A lot of Aliens and Predator. It was all a lot of these like, these standalone films uh, that you don't really see a lot today. Like obviously we get a lot of Marvel, DC, and, and of course, Star Wars today. But back when they first started, it was a lot of like these really cool films that they would do. And, and I kind of wish they'd go back to that. And it gives me a little bit of hope knowing a little bit more about the history. So I'm going to go ahead, though, and say that in 2005, the best announcement was the T-800 Battle Damaged MMS-2. Now, it's crazy to say MMS-2, right? Like, what? Like, we are in the hundreds of... Okay, hundreds range, which is which is absolutely crazy to think about how far Hot Toys have have come. Now, this T800 Battle Damage is not the one that we talk about today. That one was more so announced in 2014, so it has been a while. So I'm crossing my fingers that we get a new one soon. But out of all of the um, you know all of the announcements that I saw out of these ten, 
Uh, announcements. I may have said releases earlier. Scratch that. Announcements. I felt like looking through the photos and everything that this was the coolest one. This kind of started that T800, um, you know, love interest for a one six figures for the hot toys at least. And, and kind of, you know, brought that, that, that inspiration for them to continue to, to do Terminator. And I hope they bring that back once again. So yeah, the MMS two for 2005 to me was the best announcement that year. All right, guys, jumping in to 2006, we had five announcements. So down a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and I don't really have a lot of notes, notes for this year because there were so little announcements. But I'm going to go with the MMS-12, which was the Robocop ED-209. So the ED-209, very cool. Back in 2005, 2006, I was playing Halo 2. Okay, I was playing some Xbox, you know, live. I wasn't really into these one six figures. I was in high school. I was having a good time playing some Halo. But you know what? I still loved Robocop. And I think that's what got me to pick the ED 209 uh, out of these five announcements in 06. Jumping in to 2007. Now, this year, we actually got some Rocky figures. Now, please bring these Rocky figures back because I am a huge fan of Rocky and I would love for them to bring a Rocky a Apollo Creed a Mr. T it would just be amazing for them to redo now they also had a lot of Resident Evil figures which I thought was pretty cool looking back and learning so very cool stuff but I'm gonna go ahead and go with the MMS 30 Aliens vs Predator Ancient Predator the special version guys this is a really really cool figure and um yeah i definitely need a predator in my collection especially going through i didn't realize how many they had uh in the past years they had a lot i i thought it was like five or six it's more than that it's it's a lot it's a lot uh so guys again check out this website very cool to see everything again link down below but yeah the mms 30 avp ancient predator is the winner for the 07 announcements Jumping into 2008, we had over 30 announcements, just like 07, if I forgot to mention that. But 08, we had over 30 announcements, uh, including the first Pirates of the Caribbean Jack Sparrow, and along with some other pirates. And leading into that, so I'm going to go ahead and say the MMS 62, Pirates of the Caribbean 3, Davy Jones. Yeah, this is a really cool figure and now that we got the new artisan jack sparrow and the uh, the three other version or the two other versions i should say it would be really cool to get a new davy jones now i know this figure is high on people's list of grails but if they came out with a davy jones good and bad i guess but we wouldn't have to worry about spending all that money we would get a brand new one it would look better the figure the the you know the figure itself, the body would be better, and the 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 head sculpt would be more detailed. It would just be, the accessories would be nicer. It would, it would just be a very, very cool figure to have. Let's go ahead and bring this back, because in 08, this was the figure, or the announcement of the year. <laughs> All right, guys, leading us into 2009, we had our first DX Joker and our first Marvel. All right? Now cool little history there we had over 50 announcements 50 okay this was a big jump we went from 10 to 5 to over 30 to over 50 now i'm gonna go ahead and go with the mms 106 which is the alien big chap this sucker's huge this sucker is amazing and i even uh, talking about predator i need an alien as well i need a xenomore in my collection just be really cool to to kind of go back in time and grab this figure. Very cool, very awesome, very detailed, at least from these pictures that I'm showing you. And yeah, just be really cool to have some aliens. Um, but hopefully they bring that back as well. And let's go ahead and see what was going on in the new decade, 2010. Looked like we had our first Spider-Man, Tobey Maguire, Spider-Man that is. And over 35 figures were announced. And I'm going to go ahead and go with the MMS-133, and that is the Ghost Rider. Guys, if you guys saw, like, my top grails that I want, Ghost Rider was on it. And this motorcycle, 
the the way the the I it's it's just an amazing amazing outfit. I mean, I, I always love Ghost Rider. I, I like the the Cosmic Ghost Rider as well. And I know this isn't Cosmic Ghost Rider, but I just I love his story and what people can can do with Ghost Rider and these details, the chain, everything about the motorcycle is just killer. I mean, it is awesome to have. It would be awesome to have in display. So Ghost Rider. Since I've already loved this figure in previous videos, I have to say the MMS-133 is the top announcement of 2010. Let's continue with this decade and go to 2011. Okay, some history. We had the first Thor and the DX-6. All right. We also had the first Star Wars, at least that I saw in the notes, unless I skipped something. Um, and between the DX-89 Joker, the DX-9... Uh, 89 Batman. We had the Superman, okay? The Reeves Superman. We had a lot of cool figures being announced this year. Um, and so it was hard for me to choose. But I went ahead and went with the M MMS 152 Superman from 1978. The Reeves Superman. Comes with an amazing base, an amazing figure. Now, we do have some issues with the logo on the chest that kind of peels... But man, I and I, I haven't had this figure, so there might be some other issues as well. Please let me know down in the comments if you ever own this figure. I do know that sometimes, like it, on eBay descriptions, at least, like the the hands are are broken or something. So let me know down below. Um, but yeah, this this is something I know a lot of people, uh, you know, go after and and they want. Uh, so the Reeve Superman. Hopefully, they make a 2.0 or reissue this sometime soon. But the Superman 78 beats out the DX9, the DX8, and the DX6, in my opinion, for 2011 at the top. In 2012, we had over 25 announcements. And I'm going to go ahead and talk a little bit about the history as well. We had the Hulk that a lot of us talk about from Avengers. Uh, we had the first two quarter scale uh, figures as well. And we had the DX11, DX12, and DX13. A lot of cool figures here in 2012. And we even had the 89 Batmobile. The first one that they did. Now, of course, they reissued that. I'm going to go ahead and say that the figure, the announcement of the year in 2012 is the MMS 186 Avengers Hulk. And the reason that is, is personally, I have two buddies. I got Evil Sneaker and Jedi Knight's Watch who bought that around the same month. And I have seen that figure in person and held on to that sucker. And it is awesome. It is such a cool figure. And I think it's kind of untouchable because we haven't really had a Hulk like that again with the, you know, the tore up pants and just from Avengers. So hopefully we get a reissue of that as well. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, the Hulk from Avengers, MMS 186 takes a cake on this one very cool figure and massive jumping in to 2013 we had over 45 figure announcements so we're jumping up a little bit more again now we had the elder predator we had thor from dark world we had the dx14 mime joker which is a lot of people's favorite uh joker like a lot of people like that mime joker a lot and we also had the Batman and Robin 66. So what took the cake? <laughs> well, one that I haven't brought up yet. That's the MMS 203 D05 Robocop with mechanical chair. This was a grail figure that I really, really wanted. And I never got. I know some people who have it. And uh, shame on them for not giving it to me. But I was able to get the Robocop 3 uh, recently, so I've got my RoboCop, but this is a figure that is just amazing. I mean, it's diecast, has a really cool accessory piece in the chair, and just a lot of a lot of cool. I mean, nostalgia uh, within this figure as well would be a cool staple piece to just have in the center of your collection with that chair. So this has to take the cake with the top announcement of 2013. Now, guys, keep in mind that this is not when these figures were released. Now, this figure could have been released in a year later, two years later. So just keep that in mind that the figures that I'm talking about during that year is not the year that they were released. Okay, these are the announcements. All right, just to just to refresh. 
Now, jumping into 2014, we had another year of over 45 announcements. We had Chewbacca with Han, the DeLorean, Star-Lord, and a lot of other Guardians. We had the Ancient Predator, the Winter Soldier, T-800 Battle Damaged, and the Stormtrooper. Now, we talked about the T-800 Battle Damaged back in 05 that was announced. This is the one that we all kind of know now with Hot Toys. I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to go ahead and say that this is the winner, the best announcement of 2014, the MMS 238, the Terminator T-800 Battle Damaged, because it's a grail. Everybody loves this figure. It, it's the, the, the best Terminator I personally think that Hot Toys still has to this day. And if they could, um, you know, it's been, what, 10 years now since an announcement of a, a T-800 Battle Damage. So I think it's time. Hot Toys, I think it's time. Get us another T-800 Battle Damage. But yeah. It's really cool, man. I, I love this figure. I love going over to the Jedi's house and, and seeing this figure on display. It's probably one of my favorite Hot Toys figures to look at and just admire. All right, guys. So we're pretty much went through a decade. We've got some really, really cool announcements from Terminator to Aliens to Rocky. We also had some Planet of the Apes I didn't really talk about that happened in the early, the first few years um, of Hot Toys. So it'd be really cool to kind of bring those back too. Uh, and, and we're heading into 2015. So let's talk about 2015. Well, we had over 60 announcements. At least that's what I counted. Uh, we had Batman and Superman. We had Ray Skywalker, the D13 War Machine. We had Stormtrooper Luke, I should say, in disguise. We had Scarlet Witch and, and Quicksilver. We had, you know, so the, the twins, of course. We had the Farmer Luke, Batman Returns, and Bruce Wayne 2-pack, as well as just the Batman Returns, which is an amazing figure. We had Obi-Wan Kenobi, the old Obi, Darth Vader from uh, the um, New Hope, and we had a Thanos. So, man, 2015 was stacked. You know what, though? I'm going to go with what I'm hearing in the community. And a lot of the times, people talk about this old man, Obi-Wan Kenobi. And uh, I have to say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put that at the top for 2015. Best announcements of 2015. The MMS 283 Obi-Wan Kenobi. I don't even know if I want them to ever reissue this one or, you know, give us a 2.0, whatever, but it's a really cool figure. He looks amazing. Uh, I don't, I personally don't think Hot Toys does a very great job on beards, but for some reason, this figure, they did. I think this figure looks great. I need one and hopefully we'll get one soon. So Hot Toys, great job in 2015 because man, we had a lot of bangers. This It was between Stormtrooper Luke and, and old man Obi. So I, I had to go with the, the Obi-Wan. Just had to. Jumping into 2016, we had almost 70 announcements, guys. Almost 70 announcements. It was crazy. We had Jen Erso, uh, the Snow Troopers. We had Rogue One Vader, Harley Quinn, the the Harley Quinn, like the the one that like everybody loves. We had Marty and Doc Brown. We had Nightmare Batman, which is an amazing looking figure. We had our Yoda. We had Ripley from um, Alien. We also had uh, Black Panther from Civil War. Drax, which they've never done a Drax again. And come on, let's let's get some more Drax here. We had the Endoskeleton from Genesis. Armored Batman and our Deadpool from the first movie. I'm going to go ahead, though, and say that the MMS... 379, Back to the Future, Marty McFly is the best announcement that they had that year. <sighs> now, is this probably the best figure? I don't know, but it's the best announcement because the Marty McFly uh, from Back to the Future 2 is a staple in a lot of people's collection next to their newest DeLorean. It has the hoverboard. You know, it's just, it's just a really cool uh, piece. He's got like that little red vest on, that jacket. I love this figure a lot and I uh, kind of wish I had this one and it's just it's just really cool I mean it brings nostalgia it's got a good look it's got I think it's got a good head sculpt it's, it looks good on your display and it goes for a lot of money so 
you know, I think anything that is announced that year and to this day is like worth a lot of money, that gives them a lot of points. So I'm going with Back to the Future to Marty McFly uh, for 2016. Whew, we are already in 2017. This is going by fast. And it's kind of cool to see this history, right? I can't wait for you guys to actually go on the website and look up some of these figures. But in 2017, we had over 55 announcements. We had homemade suit Spidey, Han in disguise. We had another Star-Lord from Guardians 2, which is an amazing looking Star Wars. Or uh, uh, Star-Lord, Star not Star Wars. Uh, we had Belle. What? We had Belle. Okay, from Beauty and the Beast. And, and okay, cool cool we had the jack sparrow dx15 which is a very cool jack sparrow so bringing him back spider-man homecoming anakin skywalker which from the um from of course revenge of the sith light side anakin that is uh yondu and tarkin guys we had a lot of grails come out in 2017 it might even be when you look at history might even be the best year of announcements or at least one of them maybe not the most definitely not the most but some of the best. So it was hard to find what the best figure is, the best announcement was for 2017. But me personally, you guys might be different. I'm sorry. I know a lot of people might pick Tarkin or maybe even light side Anakin. I'm choosing Yondu. MMS 436 from Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Yondu. This is a very, very special special character that um, has a very good story, had a very good special moment in the movie, um, very sad moment in the movie. And if you like Guardians of the Galaxy, I think this is, you know, we, we have a lot of other Anakins. We have a lot of other Spider-Man figures. We have, we have other Jack Sparrows, right? We only have one Yondu, and he's a very, very great looking figure. I mean, I don't know if it's because he's blue and, you know, it's easier to make him look more realistic. I, I'm not sure with those paint applications. I'm not an artist, okay? But he looks phenomenal. And uh, yes, I've seen this one in person. He looks amazing. I wish I had him, but Yondu takes the cake for 2017. All right, enough of 2017. Great year, okay? Let me know if you think it gets better down in the comments because we have a lot of figures, and a lot of these figures that I'm going to be talking about now are a lot of figures that we have ourselves, okay? For the majority. I know we have collectors out there who have been collecting for a very long time, and that's amazing. Like, I wish I could have too. But for for the majority of us, I would say, you know, around this time is when we really started collecting. In 2018, we had over 65 announcements, okay? We had Wonder Woman, Comic Concepts Wonder Woman, which is really cool. I think is maybe not the head sculpt, but the outfit is my favorite. Uh, Wonder Woman outfits. Uh, we had Spider Punk. Okay. We had John Wick Chapter 2. Christopher Robbins Pooh and Piglet. Like, what? I never even heard about this figure. The bell I heard about from Beauty and the Beast. But Pooh and Piglet? Like, what the? <laughs> Anyways. Um, yeah, we had them. We had Spider Man Advanced Suit from the first movie. So not the 2.0, but the 1.0. We had both Darth Maul's DX16 and DX17. Great figure, by the way. We had the Dark Side Anakin, Count Dooku, Yoda, Gamora uh, from uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 2, Thanos from Infinity War. Uh, we also had Infinity War Thor, Palpatine, and of course, we had Boba Fett from The Empire Strikes Back. A lot of really cool figures. Now, again, this isn't all the figures that were announced. Like I said, there's over 64. I'm not going to name them all, um, but... I'm going to have to go for this one, Dark Side Anakin. MMS 486, guys. Dark Side Anakin is still a staple in a lot of people's collection. It's my, probably the best figure I have in my collection. If we're talking about like most wanted figures for a lot of people, it's my, it's probably my biggest grail piece. Uh, just an amazing looking figure. And something that Evil Sneaker always says is that even if they do. Uh, you know, make a 2.0 dark side Anakin, they probably won't come out with this base with it. So one time base, um, it, it's a really, really cool piece to have in your collection, guys. I was lucky enough to get it for brand new, uh, less than a, less than a year ago. And it's just a really, 
really sick looking figure. So Dark Side Anakin, one of my favorite parts, uh, one of my favorite, I guess, 30, 45 minutes of Star Wars is when he turns uh, to the dark side. So, and, and Revenge of the Sith. So, guys, this is a really cool figure. I love him. And we're going to jump into 2019 where we had over 55 figure announcements. Uh, so, as you can see, for a while, we stayed between like 55 and 65 announcements. And uh, in 2019, we had a lot of good figures as well including Iron Man 3's Hall of Armor. We had Endgame Thor, which we had our first Mandalorian uh, announcements. Uh, Pennywise, uh, the homemade suit from Spider-Man, which is like the most um, posable Spider-Man you can have. We had Endgame Cap, Return of the Jedi, Leia, and Wicket. Uh, we had the Iron Man 85 Battle Damaged, Scarlet Spidey, uh, Qui-Gon Jinn, Krennic, Tony Stark team suit. Remember, like back then, we thought we were going to get like all of these, like the whole freaking Avengers and the team suits. But we got Tony Stark that year. So if you guys remember that whole thing, that was kind of kind of cool. And we had the Iron Patriot. You know what, though? I'm going to go ahead and say the best announcement for 2019 was the MMS 543, the D33 in game Iron Man Mark 85 battle damage. And that is because if. <sighs> When I think of that figure, I think when he's like doing the snap and he's on his knees and everything, and it's just amazing when people pose him like that. It's just, and then you have like the Avengers around him. It's just a really, really cool piece to have in your collection. And I, I envy people who have that figure. So definitely need him. I do have an Iron Man. I, I need, I need a Battle Damage 85. So uh, definitely the top announcement for 2019. Uh, just a really, really cool Iron Man figure. Leaping into 2020, we all know this year was like the year that a lot of collectors, I wouldn't say a lot, but there are collectors who jumped into the game during the COVID year, okay? And these are the announcements that we got. We got over 55 announcements, all right? We had the classic suit Spidey, the DX-19, we had the Bat Pod, we had Venom and Lando. We had Lando, okay, Sneaker, we had Lando. We had Venomized Groot, the Soka Clone Wars, the Snowspeeder Luke, Wonder Woman 84. Okay, we had the Empire Strikes Back Vader 40th Anniversary. We had Miles and Gwen from End of the Spider-Verse, and we had the Thanos Battle Damaged. Now, I know a lot of people are probably going to go with a DX-19 or maybe even Vader for this one, but for me, I'm going to go with Miles Morales from Into the Spider-Verse. Now, a lot of people probably think I'm crazy for that, but if you guys don't remember, the year that that figure actually came out, what was it, twenty, the end of 21 or 22? This was a lot of people's figure of the year. People were like, wow, they had three head sculpts. It looked great. It was posable. Just an amazing looking figure. I have to go with Miles Morales from Into the Spider-Verse, a 10 out of 10 movie, 10 out of 10 figure. And this is the announcement of 2020. All right, guys. So we have we have four years left if we're going to count 2024. And I might. I might. I, I will. I will. So 2021, we had 70, around 75 announcements. This is going to continue the next couple of years. 75 announcement. Hot toys. What are you, what are you doing? What are you doing to our what are you doing to our wallets? What are you doing to me, man? So 75 announcements. Okay, so some notes, some history. We have Catwoman uh, 2.0, which was recently released. We had the Venom, uh, which, you know, the from the second movie, which is pretty much the same figure. The integrated Spider-Man suit, Yelena. We had Carnage from the Venom 2 movie as well. That came with Tom Hardy uh, head sculpt, if you already had the other Venom. Of course, Venom also did if you got the deluxe version. We had the Hydra, Hydra Stomper. We had a Scout Trooper and Speeder, King Shark, the DX-23, uh, Mando Luke, uh, Mando and the Blurg. We had Falcon from uh, Cap the Falcon, uh, Captain America, so from Falcon and Winter Soldier announcement. We had the Ahsoka from Mandalorian announced that year, and we had the Nightmare and Superman 2-pack. Badass. We had Scarlet Witch from WandaVision, which I absolutely love that head sculpt. And we had the Batman and Robin figures. We all know how they turned out. And we had Finnick. 
man, I know a lot of people are going to choose Fennec here because I know the Wolfpack, at least, gave that figure an S tier. And that's cool and all, but I'm going to have to go with the MMS 620, and that's Carnage. Carnage is a lot of people when that, again, talking about Miles, like how Miles was, when this figure was released, it was a lot of people's figure of the year. So I'm going to go with Carnage. Carnage is an awesome figure, a massive figure, um, and it's it's freaking Carnage, man. Like, he just is an amazing, amazing figure, and very happy that, that we actually got that figure uh, to put in our collection. So, yeah, 2021, 75 announcements, you guys, and Carnage at the top. Let me know down at the comments what your favorite in 2021 uh, announcements was. In 2022, we had, again, 75, actually a little more than 75 figure announcements, uh, including She-Hulk. Uh, we had pretty much the whole No Way Home line. So Green Goblin, the upgraded suit, Green Goblin. We had Black Adam, uh, the Black Panther, the OG suit. We had uh, Vader Kenobi, which recently uh, came out. So yeah, just a very, very cool figure. I think a lot of people are going to put that a figure of the year in 2024. We had Robocop 3, Woo. Iron Man Mark 3, Lightyear, Cad Bane, Multiverse of Madness figures. So of course, the Scarlet Witch. And the Doctor Strange figures here, which, my goodness, look at these. Uh, the Batman, which was an amazing looking figure. And a lot of people, if not Carnage, was the Batman uh, figure of the year. So, yeah. Peacemaker, Back to the Future 2 DeLorean, and the Love and Thunder Thor figures. Which, we're still waiting uh, for Thor and Mrs. Thor <laughs> to come out. So, yeah, just a lot of really cool ones. So, what am I going to choose? I mean... I don't know. You guys probably think I'm going to choose something from No Way Home, right? No, I think the best announcement that really got things kicked off and when it was released, I still hear people talking about this figure, but it's okay because he's an awesome figure. And that is the Batman. The Batman. MMS 368 and 369. The Batman. This figure looks phenomenal. And it was like a race between Hot Toys and Inart. Like, who's going to release first? And Hot Toys took the cake. And my goodness, the accessories that it comes with. You can get, you know, you can get the the bat signal. You can also get the uh the the bike uh separately. And man, just a really, really cool. Really cool Hot Toys Batman, and this is one that eventually I will have on my display. I've seen this one in person a couple times. Uh, Jedi Knight's Watch has it as well. I held it in my hand. Just a really, really sick figure. Really great head sculpt, and I absolutely will say that this is the best-looking Batman figure Hot Toys has ever done. So, going into 2023... We had, again, over 75 announcements, including Artisan figures. So the Artisan stuff became a thing. Again, this was just last year, so it's fresh in our minds. But yeah, we had the Anakin and Padme announcements, uh, which I'm really excited for from Episode 2. Spider-Punk and all the other characters from across the Spider-Verse, which I'm really excited for because, as you guys just heard, I love Miles and uh, the Spider-Punk. Between Spider-Punk and 89 Batman are my two most anticipated figures to come out this year. Hopefully Spider-Punk actually does come out this year, but it's scheduled for like October to like March of next year. So we'll see. We'll see. But it's one of my most anticipated figures. We have uh, Ahsoka, the Ahsoka line. So, you know, Hera, Ahsoka, Thrawn, all those figures, not all of them, but a lot of those figures were announced last year. We had the Dubek um, and Spider-Man two from the video game so the advanced suit 2.0 and the miles morales which came out really quick supergirl and all the other flash from the flash movie uh characters figures were announced including the modern suit uh michael keaton batman we had the wb 100 wonder woman which ended up being really good which is basically a pre-artisan figure if you ask me we had the guardians three line announcements um, we had Darth Sidious from Clone Wars, Batman Armory, Return of the Jedi Vader, uh, Disney 100 Iron Man, the 89 Batman, and the Avatar figures, and of course, Spider-Man Red and Blue Suit. So I would say between this and what was it, 2017, are like the two best announcement years, like year four Hot Toys announcements. 
This one's tough. A little bit. But an artisan figure is going to take the cake, and that's DX34 Anakin Skywalker artisan figure. I think is the best announcement that they had in 2023 because this figure looks sick. Not only is it not only is it Anakin Skywalker, but it's artisan line, and I think a lot of people are uh, so excited to see this figure and see what the artisan line is going to do along with the other artisan figures. Just artisan in general is probably just. 2023 any of those figures takes the cake so let's go i'm choosing anakin skywalker all right guys final year the year that we are in 2024 so far we have had 14 announcements guys 14 i'm not going to name them all but 14 announcements and we are in the beginning of april so if we do the math you know what 14 times four we're looking at about 60 plus uh, almost 60 um, announcements this year. And I'm sure they're going to start picking up a little bit more if we're going to stick to that 75 that we've had the last few years before this. So get ready. Get your wallets ready because Hot Toys here to screw us <sighs> in a good way. All right. But yeah, I mean, we've had figures like like Han, uh, the, the new Han Solo that everyone is like, whoa, we're getting a new Han. Uh, we got the Hono figures or Hano, however you want to pronounce that, the Wolverine and... And the uh, Magneto, of course, we got a Thor one that's going to be like pictures are going to be shown soon. Batman BVS 2.0, the comic book Spidey, which was like announced and then released. And then it was it was amazing, just an amazing, amazing figure. So I like how they're doing that. Like some of these figures, like the Umbra Trooper, like and then released like that. So just a lot of cool stuff, including the Ahsoka Padawan figure from the Ahsoka TV show. So we've had a lot of really cool figures being announced um, so far this year, and I'm excited to see what's coming next, y'all. Um, let me know down... Oh, I guess I will tell you guys what my favorite one so far this year is, and that is the comic book Spidey. That's the CMS 15 comic books or comics Spidey um that comes with like the camera and everything i do wish it came with like a second head sculpt you know but it's fine it's an amazing figure i i almost didn't get it and i'm so happy that i did because it's one of my favorite figures top five figures in my collection now just an amazing spider-man uh and i'm a spider-man fan so i'm glad i didn't miss out on this figure very happy so there you guys have it from 2005 to 2024 not all of the announcements, but a lot of history of what Hot Toys has announced in the past, what they've kind of released, and how they went from, like, focusing more on, like, Alien and Predator and Rocky, Planet of the Apes, stuff like that, and kind of, like, pivoting to, like, these big, you know, Star Wars, Marvel, DC kind of taking the cake. But, you know, we got a whole RoboCop 3 recently. We, we've got, we, we got Jack Sparrow Artisan. So could we see the pendulum kind of swinging back? to some of that stuff to get more of, I guess you want to call them one-offs or, or whatnot. That would be pretty cool. That would be pretty cool. Let's get us a Willy Wonka. Okay, let's do it. Uh, all right, but there you have it. Let me know down in the comments below what your favorite announcements were, maybe what even what your favorite year is. Let me know if you're if you're going to check out the, the, uh, the website, if you already knew about the website, and what you thought of the video. Hit that like button because it really does help out the channel and kind of push the this video out. So it's really good to kind of push this out because of history. Now, I'm not the history guy for Hot Toys. I'm, I'm going off of a website. I didn't live through all of these years. Okay, I admit that. But it was fun to do and fun to learn. And that's what I wanted this video to be. Uh, just kind of a learning experience for myself. And while I was doing so, kind of just share it with you guys. So uh, and just have a little fun by choosing my favorite one, my favorite announcement each year. So, or what I thought was the coolest one for its time. So guys, again, let me know down in the comments below, which one was your favorite. And until next time, guys, keep breaking.